the holiday shopping season is underway, but that's not the only reason people are opening their wallets today. It is Giving Tuesday. Amy Yancey explains how local groups are counting on your generosity. The Black Friday crowds have moved on. Cyber Monday orders are on their way. Now, on this Giving Tuesday, a call for sharing instead of buying. Thank you, Appreciate Sammy. It. This group of veterans is donating money and winter gear for homeless vets. Giving back to them is just a small part of what we can do. The movement calling for generosity happens the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. It's loud, like the flooring is all falling apart and there's things. And Kim Kaleri is with the Baltimore Station. The shelter and drug treatment center serves more than 300 people and has one very worn van. She hopes Tuesday's donations will help pay for a new one. They have a job interview. If they have a medical appointment. Um, we need to be able to get them there. Giving Tuesday is meant to counter what many feel is the commercialization of the holidays. The Waterfront Partnership is asking for donations to build Jake's Skate Park in Rash Field. It's named after a five year old boy who was killed in a car crash. Having the public donate to Jake's Skate Park or other great needs in our community gives them a commitment to the city. A selfless act in the season for giving. Everybody needs help. If you actively listen to the needs of others, well, you can make the world a better place. The Baltimore House has been taking part in Giving Tuesday for a couple years now. They tell WJZ that each year they see more and more donations. I'm Amy Yancey reporting for WJZ. Back to you. Amy, thank you. Giving Tuesday is an international movement that started in 2012.